So here we have the BMW 318D automatic on a 62 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the far left, we have the fuel gauge, followed by the speedometer, the rev counter, and the coolant temperature gauges. In the middle, you can see the total miles of this car, which are 50,494. We back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we have cruise control. And on the right hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up to the car, which is done over in the central area just here under the telephone heading. The movements that you see me making on the screen are all being done using the iDrive system, which is mainly this dial, the collection of buttons that surround it as well. But from the dial, you can, for example, turn it to radio, push the dial down, and you'll see uh, the different ways in which we can listen to radio being highlighted on the screen there. If you listen to your own music you can do, uh, that's up under the multimedia heading. And again, we've got USB input and auxiliary input. So overall, plenty of ways to listen to your music. You pair your phone under the telephone heading just there. Working away down from that, we have the CD player and the main volume for the stereo, just to the left of that. We then have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature you can increase and decrease the fan speed. At the moment it's on auto, so the car will take full control of everything to maintain those temperatures. If you press auto, you'll go to a complete manual setting where you'll be able to uh, maintain your own fan speed, determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in as well. The air conditioning is always on if this light here shows, so it's off or back on again. Uh, underneath that, we have a couple of cup holders, and uh, then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. And to the right hand side of that, you can turn off the traction control and you can change the driving setup of the car. So you can put it into sport mode, comfort, which is your everyday driving and eco pro. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.